ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಓಕೆ ಹಿಮಸೆಲ್ಫ Joe Exotic the y'all know him y'all love him from uh the Netflix documentary Tiger King uh last week we did one pose but then i realized that what really wasn't working 
So I redid them a little bit, and now I started coloring them. And uh, tonight, what I hope to do is finish my attempt at a good old Joe. And then I think I'm going to close out the stream with a uh, little tarot card reading for you all. But it's not just any tarot. This is the cat tarot. Yes, the cat tarot. Uh, illustra oh, geez, who is the illustrator for these cards? Uh, by Megan Lynn Cott. I mean, look at look at these beautiful cards. They are so awesome. And why not end the stream on a nice little note? But we're not talking about endings. We're talking about art. So let's get right to it, y'all. And here we have our boy. <clears throat> Look at that. So as you can see, I've started the pencils. Well, I redid the pencils. And I did a little forced perspective here for Joe. Which I think looks pretty darn dope. And so we got his little brace over here. And we have uh, his other leg, and he's holding Carol, uh, Carol's diary, and he's holding up his mighty axe. Okay, I just want to bring up, uh, oops, I got the wrong thing going here. Bring up that. Okay, we're doing good. And I started with the tiger, and then I started uh, working on Joe's pants for now. And as you can see, it's just a rectangular frame for what's going to be cut off. Uh, the pencils, which by themselves look cool. I've always liked this kind of like rough bottoms, but with nice vivid color up top. And now, let's finish our boy, shall we? Alright, so what we're doing now, we just got a regular old, regular old flat brush. Oh, nope, too big. Too big. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. And we are going to let's get his let's get his shirt first. And uh, sorry you can't see what I'm looking at on my other screen, but I'm just bringing up some uh, some of Joe's shirts and all of their glory. Also, let me know if the sounds too low. I'm trying some new sound settings tonight, and hopefully I don't sound too low in the mix. So, I uh, actually, you know what I should do? Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm just going to make a quick, I love Photoshop for this reason, I'm just going to make a quick new color library, and we're just going to call this Joe Exotic, and I'm just going to click, so when you're done set up that, I'm just going to click and direct, mm. oh, add to swatches, and then So I'll just take that. Cool. And then I'll just take, oh, I can't drag and drop. Hang on one second. I'll figure it out later. I just want to get to drawing. I just want to get to drawing. Well, I can always just take from, uh, oh, cancel. That's why I couldn't do that, folks. There was another pop up on the other monitor. Shish. There we go. It might be too black. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Mm. 
Mm, how's everybody doing today? Nope. I hope everybody's doing okay. A lot of safe and sound. Uh, things are okay over here where I'm at. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we've been cooped up in our apartment for the last couple of days. Because we're both homebodies, so that really doesn't uh, affect us a great deal. The only thing we wish we can do is, hey, oh my god, welcome to the stream, pops. Oh, dad. I believe you're the first one in the chat. It's good for a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm not you're not allowed to say that on YouTube. You're not allowed to address the the what's going on. Well, unless you want to make money from the video, I don't know. Which is dumb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I'll fix and I'll smooth out any. Uh, actually, I don't need. I don't think I like that. We could just undo that. So, uh, so Dad, what do you think of uh, my guy here? Have you seen uh, uh, Tiger King on Netflix? Because if you haven't, who oh boy, it will take your mind off of everything that's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are good. Good you're looking after mom. You better be looking after mom. She'll kick your ass if she was, if you weren't. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's zoom in a bit on that so we can get fine uh, so you heard about it I suggest you go watch it it will provide you with endless entertainment And slight uh, confusement. Because Heidi and, I, Heidi and I were watching it. And we were just like, what? The, what the hell are these people? So in case you don't know what it is, it's all about these uh, this zoo, this private zoo owner and tiger breeder named Joe Exotic. Who one time ran for president of the United States and uh, for governor, I believe, of Oklahoma. And he is a, uh, he owns a, a zoo. He's a zoo owner, a tiger breeder, a country music singer, TV, broad, TV show host for his own show. And he is currently... In jail, whoops, he is currently in jail for a murder plot. He tried to kill one of his rivals, a woman named Carol Baskins, who owns another, um, who owns a, a big cat rescue that look after um, exotic uh, cats. And he tried to murder her. So, I don't know. The whole thing's crazy, and you should watch it. If, if not for the story, then at least for Joe. Hey, thanks for joining the stream. I stabbed fish with bacon. How are you doing? Mm-hmm. 
Please turn down the opacity on this so I see what they do. Okay. What is the show called? Tiger King. It is amazing and scary all at the same time. It's scary because people like this exist. And it's not just this guy. It's um, working on a crochet project. Cool. That sounds like fun. Actually, I got into knitting a little bit last year. I should get back into that. Actually, I am I'm currently... Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that outside. Somebody's blasting some music. I hope I don't get copyrighted. But, uh... uh what was I going to say? Uh, I'm actually teaching uh, myself uh, After Effects, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I got that. I got a lot of projects I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to keep myself as busy as possible while, with the time I have. And I'm doing that by doing passion projects I've been putting off to the side. Uh, I'm doing logo projects I've been wanting to do. Um, I've been doing, I, well, I need to get back into making comics because I really want to make a comic. Well, I'm blasting some uh, Spanish music, I like it. Alright, so there's the shirt. Do a quick save. Oh. There we go. There you go. And right now what I'm doing here is I'm just laying down the flats of a uh, shirt. So what are you uh, crocheting, I stab fish? Is it for fun? Is it a gift for somebody? Mm -hmm. I need to label these a little bit. Let's put that underneath the pants. Cool. Oh, Stephanie Bloodworth. Hey, Steph, how you doing? Oh, oh, that's so cool. How old is your nephew? It sounds like he's going to love it. I was, I would have loved that as a kid. Shoot. Whenever I stream, there's a bit of a delay. But we are working through that. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, uh, oh, Stephanie, have you seen um, Tiger King? Aw, his dad has a huge beard. Oh, that's awesome. That's adorable. I love that. That beard will be handy in the winter. The little beard hat. It's looking good so far. Uh, if you saw the first episode, oh man, it is, it's quite the ride. 
Chris, uh, like, I sort of, like, fell off a little bit of the documentary, I'm going to admit, because I couldn't stand a lot of the people that were in it. They were, they were all, hor like, a lot of them were horrible people. Like, especially that one dude, the dude with, like, the soul patch, what his name was, Dr. Antel Bhagav Bhagavan, or whatever the, whatever his weird name was. Mm. What happened to the tiger's teeth? Oh, he's going to get them. The tiger's teeth will be, uh, I just, I just wanted to get the base color of the tiger, uh, in there. Get all our base colors in, and then we refine. And then what I'm going to do, what my what I'm planning to do, is instead of outlining, I'm going to create texture through my colors. So I have a bunch of, like, textured brushes, and we'll see if that works. Uh, if not, uh, we'll figure something out. But I'm really digging how this is looking, and it, uh, I'm just having fun with it for now. I hope you guys are having fun watching me paint this weirdo. <laughs> and I think we should give him a little mother of pearl looking gun. Yes. Boy, it was the person to show. Oh, her. Actually, one of my favorite people in that whole thing was the producer of Joe's TV show. Who kept all this evidence that uh joe was like because like he was a crazy dude who just like kept cameras rolling on himself 24 7 and uh and when he started like making threats the the guy used it to snitch on him But, like, you're talking about the girl who got her arm uh, amputated. I th yeah, her. Let's see. Okay. Where's the gun? Oh, him. Oh, him. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a girl. Oh. Dang. Actually, I like that person, too. That was one of the few people I liked. Saf. Yeah, Saf. That's her name. That, that's that's their name. Sorry. Don't mean to... Don't mean to get genders wrong. Yeah, that... Saf was cool. Despite, like, her being horribly... Horribly disfigured, she still worked for the place. Oh. Oh. God dang. That I did not know. Uh, mm, yep. Go figs. so i gotta ask you something oh, oh wait no you're not far in the show so i don't want to give away anything unless you want to watch more of it because it, it's all crazy but when you think it's gotten like just like just when you think oops hang on Like just when you think things have reached like a, a tipping point, by episode three, 
it gets a whole lot stranger. Damn, that's insane. I don't really need to figure out a new like solution. Get at least something, some white noise. Yeah, let me move this above the pants. Then I could just noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. <laughs> Yeah, like it's it's a bit hard to watch because it's just like Tiger King, yeah. It's just so much information being thrown at you between what Joe's telling you, between Joe's story and Carol's story and the weird of the... Hold on, where is it? There you go. Like, it's insane how much stuff is out there. Like, well, it is being told in, for the, from this story. It's, and they're all nuts. Like, we watched it out of curiosity, but who knew they would have taken this huge uh, leap. And now it's gotten like such fame and notoriety. <laughs> yes, Dad, Tiger King. Oh, no, not that one. There you go. I really just start labeling these layers so I can find them easier. Anything. I would love to play some Tenacious D on here. I've been in a, been in a big Tenacious D mood. But uh, maybe I can use my uh, my little drum here. I do have a little uh, music go device over here. Let me know if it sounds nice. little hang drum maybe I'll record some loops in a garage band with some soothing sounds <laughs> oh my god so far this is looking so good I love this oh yeah people keep exotic animals as pets and it's it's gotten really really bad like you have no idea how bad it is Uh, cat, like big old like tigers, uh, lynxes, uh, chimps, capuchin monkeys, uh, slow lorises. The exotic animal, uh, as like the exotic animal market, is big. But the worst I, I feel in the documentary are the are the people like Joe and uh, Doctor Antel or whatever his name whatever the hell that guy's name is I don't really friggin care who 
they like they own a quote unquote zoo and they have like a lot of exotic ex- ex- blah, exotic animals that people can uh, touch and pets and well not pet but take pictures with and that costs a lot of money for like and that costs them like a pretty pretty funny because they're not a real zoo so they have they don't have to do a lot of restrictions for uh, stuff like that and it just pisses me off because they don't really care about animals these people don't give a dang about the animals they supposedly take care of they're just there for a investment opportunity and that is all it's it's abuse in my opinion I don't know what anybody else thinks, but in my opinion, that is straight up abuse, and they are all a bunch of dicks. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. He's really good. Yeah. You have that is very true. I'm I was a bit freaked out about how obsessed he was at her. Like he, he was so obsessive and deranged, like to the point. Like for me, like I lost. Well, I didn't lose interest, but like the death threats he he openly made against her were god dang scary. And they were so unnecessary. Oh, who the hell is Joe? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Joe. Joey Exotic. Is quite the fellow, my dear father. He is a. Uh, he was a political candidate for the state of Oklahoma, and he tried to run for president. Uh, he uh, sings country music. He is the well, the self-proclaimed best tiger breeder in North America. According to him, not really sure. He's uh, he's more than a con man. He's like a, he actually no, he is. He is a con man. He's a big time con man. What made him? I think what made him qualified to, well, in his mind to take care of animals is that he used to own a pet store with his brother. I did a Wikipedia dive in the Joe. Uh, married to... He's, he's progressive, though. He's gay. He's openly gay. Married to two husbands, which I... I mean, like... I don't mind that. I just... I'm just like... I just feel bad for the second husband because he's so young and he has his whole life ahead of him and Joe came in and fucked up his life.
and uh, the 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 first husband. He seems like a nice guy. Nice enough guy. I saw Busby did an article about him, and like, oh, now he looks handsome. Like, they're like, oh, isn't isn't Joe's first husband so hot? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Just float your boat. I don't care. <laughs> There's somebody for everybody, I guess. <laughs> I might outline this guy, but for now, I like what I got going with. I think he's looking good. What do you guys think? He's starting to take shape. Yeah. Joe's coming along. Yes, he is gay. He is openly gay. And he, like, I think, like, especially, like, where, well, actually, no, like, what was I going to say? Oh, I had a train of thought, but I lost it. I hate it when that happens. But, yeah, no, he's openly gay, which is cool. Oh, thank you, Steph. Thank you, Stephanie. He does look powerful. That's, that's what I wanted him to, that's what I envisioned this this my version of joe to be powerful like he man like riding a tiger he's gonna have a glittery shirt by the time this is all over i'm doing something i've never done before like i'm doing uh, a painting with no outlines of uh of joe this is all um all going to be textural this is something new i'm trying and let's hope it works <laughs> I'm really glad you guys can tune in. We've been going for 38 minutes now. Thank you all so much for tuning into this humble little stream. This little, uh, and uh, I'm glad that I can um, live or at least like provide some form of entertainment in such dark, hard times, and. Uh, I just want to say that we are going to get through this. It's going to be rough. But all things considered, if you have your family and loved ones and health around and like around you and you got health, your health and you're sticking to the guidelines of the quarantine, uh keeping 6 feet away from people, we are all going to get through this better and stronger than ever. Like I've made it a point to come out of this with new skills. Uh, I have, uh, I'm doing After Effects right now, which I've said before. Uh, my teacher is giving us tutorials, which is really cool of him. Even though classes have been suspended, he doesn't have to. It was a really cool, that's really nice of him. And uh, I wanna have some projects to show by the time we are released. I think I might. Don't. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And we're just going to erase. Mm. Yeah, so that's got to happen. I'm glad, I'm glad, <laughs> blah, I'm, I'm glad you think he looks powerful. Mm -hmm. I forget Joe's husband's names. That escapes me at the moment. Oh. 
Mm. Why can't... There we go. That's it. That's what I like. Oops. Let me just finish up the. No, oh, come on. Oh, you. Sticky keys, folks. Don't you just hate them? that a quick save there we go that's what I want yes 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 king sly oh why am I in the clone stamp too Clone stamp tool, you have no business in here. That's that. That's that. Go down to the. What the hell? Why do I have a copy of this layer? Oh, yes, I do. I do remember that dog. Um, Francois, I believe his name was. Uh, oh, I got to finish it, actually. He is... I just, I just remembered him. I have to finish him. So, I love drawing French Bulldogs. They are... One of the few things that give me joy. Well, one of the many things that give me joy. I shouldn't say few. Uh, lots of things give me joy, by the way. Mostly animals. Because they are wonderful. Oh no, I don't want to do that. It's going to paint underneath. Francois will be completed. He doesn't have much uh, more to go. And he will look super cute with his little eye patch, mustache, and flamethrower, I believe. I believe he had a flamethrower. And he was smoking a cigarette. And he had a handlebar mustache. That's what I remember about him. I'm glad I'm glad Francois is brought up <laughs> in the Bloodworth household. Oh come on.
Yes, he's currently in jail for the attempted murder of uh, his rival, uh, Carol Baskin, of Big Cat Animal Rescue. It's a murder-for-hire plot. If you believe that shit... Switching layers. Mm -hmm. Which I think that buckle might be a bit too big, but I don't really know. But I should say about the murder plot, just because he tried to murder some murder Carol, Carol is also not that nice of a person either. In my opinion. I don't trust anybody in this in the documentary. I really don't. I've said it to like a lot of friends who've watched it. I don't like all of them are evil except for Saf. Saf is awesome. The only bright ray of sunshine in that whole documentary. Has anybody listened to um, Joe's music? I have to know if anybody has went down the insane rabbit hole that I did and watched, um, watched I can only stomach one of his music videos. It is quite the dive. Let's do his skin next. Quick save. Oh, Stephanie. Oh, boy. If you want some Class A entertainment, Google Joe Exotic, I Saw a Tiger. <laughs> oh my god it is uh it's it's a video that's what i'll say about it all right folks i'm just gonna clean up some lines here this is a very ambitious piece to do on stream on a stream but dang it i want to do it and I like showing my process a little bit of how I work. This weird, my weird process. It's like. Also, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. It reminds me of the commissions I used to do at Comic Con and stuff. I miss Comic Con.
Bro, he's too... <laughs> we'll see that when he... We'll see when that comes down. What is uh, currently at the top of your uh, search pile? I know what you mean. I went to my girlfriend today. Like she works like with no lunch, and she gets really tired, and she wonders why. I'm like, did you eat anything, my love? Because if not, you might be suffering from low blood sugar. Hmm. Doc project? Oh, that sounds cool. Yes, that looks good. Quick save. So what program are you uh, doing? And don't mind me, folks. I am just going to organize all of um, the stuff you're seeing. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is get all of the brace stuff together. Come on. Eh, the pen will not work. So I will just do this. And we'll just call this guy Brace Group. Mm -hmm. We'll just take all of this together. We'll group that and we'll just call this Joe Group. Oh, wow. Clinical. Oh, wow. Holy crap. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And good luck with that, seriously. Sounds rough. Uh, okay, now we'll do the skin. We'll do Joe's uh, skin. And from this picture that is not on your screen, sorry, well, sorry about that. He's got like a like a nice uh, reddish, like a tomato. Ooh, that's too red. We need some orange in there. There we go. Russell just looked like a big old V8. I conducted my final doctoral project and did the research and wrote it all out. I'm just waiting on edits, come back. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Edits are always rough. Good luck with that stuff. Seriously. Uh, what else have... Well, what else, has, uh, what else have you all been doing with the days when you're not working to... Um, fill time like have you have you been looking up new projects to do uh besides crochet i know you're doing that stephanie like anything else like uh playing any games anybody playing any games because i will tell you what i'm into right now i'm into some diablo well because heidi has gotten in, my girlfriend has gotten into animal crossing so she has been well normally i hog the switch with all of my games, all my gaming, and when Animal Crossing came out, she's like, "I, I'm gonna take the Switch if you don't mind." I'm like, "No, I play it way too much. It's your turn." And she is in love with the game. She loves Animal Crossing. It's like her, it's like her solace after work. Oh wow, I didn't know that. So you're still seeing clients every day? That's good. Good for you. I assume like uh, remote meetings like over Skype or digital. The cat needs teeth. The cat will be getting teeth. I'm just getting all of my flat colors done. 
<laughs> the cat shall have this cat will have teeth. Believe me, sir. Uh, what else have I been doing? Just a lot of drawing. I've been getting back into drawing a lot more. I'm trying to make more of a daily habit to draw. It's awesome that you're a therapist. I didn't know you were a therapist. Apart from being a super cool person. Uh, put you above Jane. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. And then we'll just erase some of the lines. Oops. I have also um, been playing a lot of a tabletop simulator with my friends because I love board games like crazy so like every Tuesday we have a tabletop simulator day and we play board games with each other and it's a lot of fun which like I still which I love that we found a way to um, uh, get together and play games My favorite game, well, my favorite board game right now is Skull, and Skull is a lot of fun. If you've never played it, seriously, like, you can even play with cards, you can make your own cards, <clears throat> but Skull is amazing. It's a good, like, bluffing game. It's a good game, like, at, like for a party. Oops. If anybody else plays Tabletop Simulator, let me know. I'll friend you on Steam. We can play some board games together. Hold on, I'm always looking to play board games with people. I'm just finding they're a great uh, social um, lubricant, especially Cards Against Humanity. Actually, I got my dad into Cards Against Humanity, and he loves that game. We, we need to play it uh, again. See, when this, when all this craziness is over, we are having a Cards Against Humanity uh game day at your house pops I'm hosting game day I'm on Long Island
I don't really do something about the ranting alien, I guess I'm with my paint bucket tool. Some of the artifacts we got going there. Just all the paint. Just painty lines. What do I call them? This would be my catchphrase, I think. Ugh, these are poopy lines. Text messages, folks. Okay. It's my brother checking in. He's doing good. Oops, wrong button. Oh my lord. Uh, this guy's looking crazier and crazier, folks. And again, it's part of his nature. That is the nature of Joe Exotic. Oh, we just passed the hour mark. Sweet. We're going to keep going on this good old boy. Never mean to no harm. This is going to be one of my weirdest uh, drawings yet. Actually, no. My weirdest drawing was um, Paula Dean as Emma Frost. I drew that for a uh, commission. Oh my god, I can't believe I remember that. I think my brain blocked it out. It was just, it was just, <laughs> it was a, it was a marker uh, illustration. It was just Paula Dean just coated in butter. And I finished it and people had this look of like, oh, it's cool. And I kind of reveled in their disgust. But at the same time, I think, ah. Of what I've made. Some things just shouldn't be drawn. And now you all know my secret channel. <laughs> Butter peddling Paula. I love that. Oh, um I, when I was younger, like, I loved the Food Network. The Food Network was, like, all I would watch. Like, uh, Guy Fieri for life. Love that guy. Love him, which I think inspired my love for Maddie Matheson. Love Maddie Matheson. Ugh, if there's anybody I would want to, like, hang out with hardcore, it's him. I kind of like the idea of like a hey, just like a howdy y'all. Have you been getting enough butter during these hard times? Well, I'm here to help you with all your butter needs. Like Paul and you would always get so excited about butter. Like that was her. 
Oh, I love Matty Matheson. I'm so glad that he is. Come on. Come on, brush. Darn you. Okay, so I have to switch periodically to my trackpad to select colors here because I'm living in the Stone Age. Have you seen his new web series with. I have not. Oh my god. I have to watch this. Stephanie, thank you. Eating out America. Oh boy. Have you seen the um the the uh this thing called Djibouti dubs of uh, Guy Fieri? Oh my god. If you want to just like if you just want like a wonderful gut laugh, just go on Djibouti dubs, man. I wonder if my dad's still watching. Hey, Pop, are you still watching? I want to know. I'm curious if I've scared you off at this point. <laughs> That's great. He meets Kenny Beats. <laughs> who's, who's Kenny Beats? I don't know this guy, too. Oh, my God. Djibouti dubs. It was amazing. My brother introduced me to Djibouti dubs a while back. I, I, I attempted to try and play a uh, Djibouti dub video really quick on the stream, but uh, I couldn't figure it out. It requires a lot more production that I myself know. I think I need to shrink my brush a bit because I'm getting into high detail. OMG, what? What, Stephanie? So, so I take it I should know this um, Kenny Beats fellow. He's an awesome producer who does this show. People come to his studio and tell him what kind of beat they're feeling. Oh, wow. That sounds pretty dope. Okay, this is worth watching. I have to watch this. The cave. I will definitely watch this tonight. <laughs> Getting recommendations, hanging out with cool people. This is awesome. It's a great night. This is a great Wednesday. I'm so glad y'all can join. Okay. Uh, and Joe's looking. Joe's looking scary. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, I think I'll do his hat now, and then his uh, gitter. His a. Uh, Acoustic Gitter. See, Joe normally wears a uh, baseball cap, but I think he looks great in a cowboy hat. Oh, I have to do his hair. Oh, my God. I forgot to rough pencil his hair, which means we get to do freestyle hair. <laughs> oh. Joe, you are a magnificent beast. You are the... You, you are the main inspiration for that Harry Potter movie. Magnificent Beasts of Where to Find Them. Ooh, hang on, folks. I got a message. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, everybody. Just talking to my friend Todd Hunt, who has a great podcast called The Super Nintendo Dads, where he and his co-host introduced their young sons and kids to uh, childhood games they had growing up. And it's very adorable. I just listened to the episode where they introduced their boys to Mega Man. And uh, Todd, I believe his son is four years old. 
he was, uh, I believe he was playing a me- Woodman stage, and Todd came over to ask him how he was doing, and the kid went, pretty good. Brr, brr. I died. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, so precious. That's the Super Nintendads. And actually, I just did... Uh, okay, this is one thing I've been getting into um, since I have been confined. I've been getting into tarot reading. Yeah, I have a deck of uh, tarot cards. It's the Cat Tarot by uh, Megan Lynn Cott. And I've been doing readings for friends. And it's been a lot of fun to do. Like, I enjoy doing it like uh it's a fun it i like i like doing it because it helps people feel a little better and it's a good way to help uh i don't know if you're i don't know if anybody's into tarot readings or stuff like that um but i just like it's good for people to have like 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 i think it like gives people a little bit of um optimism and hope and uh, just something like to help alleviate some things and to get, provide some answers to help them. And I just do this as a hobby, but like, I've been having fun with it. It's really cool. Uh, let's put you behind. Yes, let's do that. Yes. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I'm loving this. Joe's looking insane. Hmm, I think it's a bit too long. Joe's got... Uh, like his, his hair is not that long. Yeah, that definitely watched the cave. You know the best way to describe like what I'm doing here? Is I'm sort of treating my layers like they're gouache. A little bit like acrylic paint. I just build I'm just gonna build up layers digitally which I think will look cool by the end of this piece and I'm so glad you all can come and tune in to what I'm doing saving oh hang on folks just gotta do one thing And uh, let's see, we got the hair. Mm, I might. Actually, whoops, wrong layer. Joe is looking so righteous. <laughs> okay, let's get. Oh, hmm, whoa, what is that? What are you doing? 
Oh, that's a skin. Darn it, I was drawn on the wrong layer. Can I get rid of this? I don't know if we'll flatten colors. I'm not going to flatten colors until I'm happy with them. Hey. Hey folks, we have a guest. Heidi's here. Hello, folks. <laughs> what do you think? It's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, he's got a lot of flats going on. Oh, hang on, let me get... There we go. Yeah. Yeah. These are like awesome. Thank you. I'm treating this whole thing like a gouache painting. It's fucking dope. You got a lot of followers or watchers? Uh, Viewers? oh, Stephanie Bloodworth says hi, Heidi. Hello, Stephanie Bloodworth. <laughs> her, her screen name is I Stab Fish with Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and she gave us a bunch of stuff to watch. Like a new Guy Fieri show, which I'm definitely going to watch the fuck out I'm of. I'm worth it. I'm worth and it. And then there's a show called The Cave. Have you heard of The Cave? No, it sounds familiar, but... It's, uh, this is dude, um, who, uh host of the show is Kenny Beats and what he does is he invites hip hop of uh, us people into his studio and he asks them what kind of beat they're feeling and he makes it in like 10 minutes and then they freestyle over it. Cool. So I gotta watch this. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lay in bed. I'm feeling groggy. Alright, hon. Are you gonna draw it with me? Um, I think I'm like I've exceeded my screen usage for the day. Okay. So oh so you're all done with you you finished up early with uh the Animal Crossing. I think I just have to stop. Like 'cause I can like play that like until I can play it like every second of the day. Mm-hmm. Like I have to like cut myself off from anything. Yeah. But terribly fun. No, I'm like so proud of my room right now. It's like so <laughs> camp. By the way, folks, Heidi's an awesome illustrator in her own right, too. She's doing a bunch of cool stuff. No. Uh, oh, um, Stephanie says the same, Heidi. That's my energy today, too. You keep, it's keeping me going, man. It's Anxiety Carol. Anxiety Carol? Oh, don't, don't mention names. Uh, there we go. Yeah, but Animal Crossing has helped with the anxiety of the current events. Um, yes. Not to mention any names, that's my fault. I'm so tired. Two more days of work. Stephanie responds, ha 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 ha. I thought you said not to mention names. Oh no, Stephanie Bloodworth in the chat. Yeah, but you said not to mention names. Or there's like people like... But you just did it. Like oh no, because... Oh no, the person in the chat, Stephanie. Yeah, no, I know. I thought you said not to say anyone's name. Oh no, but like anybody you might work with or... Oh, why would I do that? Oh, good point. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about Animal Crossing. Oh... Well, then who's Anxiety Carol? It's curing, it's a cure, Anxiety Cure All. Oh, Cure All. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, Anxiety Carol, I don't know who she is. Sorry, that's why I thought, oh boy. And then I went through my head like, wait a minute, she doesn't know anybody named Carol. I do work with the Carol, but she's really cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> Whoops. Comedy. I can't say Stephanie's name. Whoopsie. Oh no, you can say Stephanie's name. I don't think she minds. I really thought you were talking about a Carol. Somebody else. Oh my. Sweetie, are you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? <laughs> the rent is too damn high, Tom Nook. 
is what Stephanie says. Man, Tom Nook is freaking he's working a crook. me. He's working me to the bone. He's a ball buster. He's a jerk. That Tom Nook is a jerk. I hope the Better Business Bureau takes him down. I'm trying to things. pay off my second mortgage and stuff. Shit. I wish paying off mortgages and stuff were as easy as it is in Animal Crossing. It's not that easy. But like I at least... I caught a tarantula today, at least. Yeah, oh yeah, you were so happy about that. I keep... I, find I heard you exclaiming from the other room like, Yes! Oh! This asshole will actually bite me and make me pay. <laughs> Drag him. Uh, let's give him like a darkish. Yeah, kind of like on the brown side. My dad joined for a little bit. Aww. Carl's not on there anymore, though? No, Carl's not on here. Carl. Yeah. Carl. My daddy, folks. Carl. He's hilarious. Carl! There we go. He's basically Carl. Yeah. He doesn't even know it. He's he basically is. Larry David. Not as funny though. Not as funny as Larry David. We'll we'll say that. I'll give I'll give. Yeah, he's pretty damn funny. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad does some shit too. I don't know. I find I find this funny. I find it funny in doses. Okay. I'm gonna check on our daughter. Okay. Bye. Uh, thank you, Heidi, for tuning for coming into the stream. I might lay in bed and tune in on on ya. Tune okay. in on ya. Tune in on me. Tuna on me. Carol. Carol. <laughs> Give Carol a hug. Jerry, you want to come in now, too? Carol. Oh, kitty. Come here. No, no. Yama spitat. Oh, yeah. Carl. Why is there a dead human in our house? Carl, what did you do? What, me? I didn't. So I can recite that whole thing. I remember, I remember my friend Pat and I, we did a line for line reenactment of that at an open mic. And that was pretty fun. I remember, that was a fun night. We just got these weird ass hats. We just proceeded to do it. It was so much fun. One of the only times I've ever done open mic. Actually, a little fun fact, I used to, um be the main music for a comedy show in Long Island City called Happy Sounds Comedy. And that was quite the show. That was a fun show. I, like, Oh yeah. <laughs> I could see that. Char Charlie! Ah, it's you too. What do you two want? Come play with us, Charlie. At least I'm, I think I'm doing the voice. I don't know. Oops. Oh, cool. He, I didn't know he does live streams. That's pretty dope. Didn't know that about the guy. There we go. Oh, these flats are taking way too long. Oh, thank you, Steph. I try to nail, I do the best I can with my impressions. I take pride in my impressions. Gotta say, this boy's looking pretty lovely and demented. 
I'm glad you can join in on the fun with me. There we go. And, uh, oops. We got some stuff happening down here. The hat behind there we go. Yeah, that's it. Just checking my layer order, everybody. And I think okay, let's do his necklace really quick because whatever the hell. Necklaces. Uh, do have you? Has anybody ever heard of Weeble or Weeble stuff on uh, YouTube? I love his music. His music is pretty dope. I'm on the eraser. You want to put our daughter on stream? If she wants to be, she keeps moving around. She doesn't know what she wants. I think she wants to sit in your lap. Oh. Nope, she's messing with your. Oh, no, she's just messing with me. Jerry, can you move her around? Like, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, she wants to be with mom. She wants to be with mama. Okay. Okay. Come on. Meow. <laughs> My lovely cat, folks, Jerry. I think, well, she, she made an appearance on the last stream. She was my live animal act. At the beginning of the stream, we were drawing uh, Joe. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is becoming to be quite the piece. And I think I might just... Actually, no, I'll keep that there. I will figure out that white spot. I'm going to maybe put a gray in there to draw it, like, for the, or a black for the hinge of his uh, brace. I still don't know how he injured his knee, though. I can't remember. Either that or, like, I zoned out during the documentary because I was just like, this is all fucking insane. These people are fucking nuts. This is definitely going to be a Lisa Frankish, disgustingly fuchsia color. This is Carol's diary because he, on his show, claimed that he did obtain Carol Baskins' diary. Oh, <laughs> that's all good. I really need to figure out a music situation. Because the last time, like, I just played a uh, ukulele. Like, the first time I did a stream, it was on Facebook. And um, I was just streaming some ukulele music from my YouTube, uh, uh, from my Spotify. And then 
uh, Facebook paused it because I got hit with a copyright thing. Which I'm like, oh shit! So now I have to. Maybe I'll, like I said, I might record some loops on my ukulele or my guitar. So at least we have like something to listen to. Or I should just have like ocean sounds. Ocean sounds would be nice. If anything, I would probably just play the Chrono Trigger OST. I think that's copyrighted too. I'm not sure. I was talking about it before, but like one thing I want to do is do like loops of this game, like um, st stylings of this game. I don't know if anybody, if anybody's ever heard of the Neverhood, an old claymation game I talked about on the last stream, where like the uh, the soundtrack had this like funky. Kind of like Leon Redbone-ish kind of scatting like a bird 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 about a bird a bird a bird about a bird a bird a bird about a bird a bird stuff like that. I I'm thinking like you know Christopher to play Chrono Trigger again after years. Oh boy, oh Chrono Trigger that takes me back. Mother fucking Chrono Trigger, such an under like oh an underrated game. Like, it's such an integral part of, like, my childhood and my art style. Because I love Akira Toriyama. I love Dragon Ball. And just, like, mm, just a wonderful game to play. It's so fucking good. I appreciate that very much. I love Frog. And Frog and Frog and Robo are my favorite characters. I played with them a lot. And of course Chrono. Anybody who had a sword, I would play with a lot. Magus was dope though. Magus was fucking dope. Oh, my, my New York site came out there. Oh, fuck Magus, bro. Magus fucking dope with all that magic shit, bro. Shit. Fuck. Sorry, I'm cursing a lot. Don't mean to. <laughs> you down with Magus, bro? Oh, fucking Magus. That fucking guy. Fucking wizard. Oh, come on. Gee. Do the wrong things in those first like 10 minutes. <laughs> I do appreciate it. That's fucking great. If I was to do it now, like I think I would be in Chris's shoes. Just how. Remind me of that banana bread at work, bro. <laughs> You're going to have to put that link in the chat, please, because I have. I do not know what thou are talking about, but I shall watch it. Actually, and then I have something for you. Um, there's this video of uh, this, this animation of this dude cursing that he got pee on his pants. Beats the dude he stole. <laughs> Oh, that motherfucker looks like ten times. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it on YouTube really quick, and then I will just uh, I'll play like a ten second clip of it.
Yeah, Pee's Pants, I think is what it's called. No, that's it? No. No, that's not it. Ah, couldn't find it. I will find it and I will post it later. Oops. But Stephanie, you got me excited for the cave. I gotta check out the cave. One thing I was wondering about playing is like Game Grumps, Game Grumps compilations. I love the Game Grumps. I was wondering if I could play like a compilation of like Aaron freaking out at Zelda. I don't know what it is about that, but like I just love his sense of humor. Oh, my dad asked if I, the stream is over. Still going on, Pops. Still going strong over here. Over an hour and 30 minutes of streaming. We're going to get as far as we can, folks. We're going to... I'm going to try to attempt to get him done tonight. I don't think I am, but we're going to get pretty damn far. But right now, I'm just having fun. I'm glad you're having fun. This is a fucking blast. I love this stream. This is by far the best stream I've done. I've done! Uh, I don't know if anybody here plays Fortnite, but uh, I was talking with my friends one time, and um, we were talking about how Adult Swim hasn't partnered with a Fortnite yet. And I would love... Love, love, love if they, if ever a skin of Carl from Aqua Tween Hunger Force came out for Fortnite. And that was like, that would be like the only skin I would play as. Like, I don't care how much money I have to pay, how much actual money I have to pay. I will buy that shit. And I will not, but like, no regrets. Just, I'll just be walking around. It's like, oh, you look tired. Let me go get my iron. My tire iron. And if you get a kill, you just hear him go, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting the guitar. My dad literally, I thought he was going to come back on, but he said, have fun, I tired. Oh, Carl. Oh, come on. Anxiety Carol. Folks, who the fuck is Carol? Anxiety Carol. I think that might that might be my next drawing. Anxiety Carol.
Well, actually, going back to um, Mon Monster Hunter, uh, Chrono Trigger, I didn't know, but that was like um, the equivalent of like a supergroup game, like a bunch of different um, designers came and uh, well came on board and provided their own unique flavor to the game, which is why it was so good. And I, one thing I learned about it, the, the main musician of this game, this was his first big um, uh, game he composed for because he went to um, the heads of Konami because he they would like never let him compose any music. And then he marched up to the head of honchos and he was like, hey, you give me give me a game to do or else I'm leaving or else I quit. And then they get, well, there's this game. Why don't you fucking do it? And he did. He made some awesome fucking music. Mm -hmm. no, no, we're almost done with the flats, folks. And then I think I'm going to move on to some shading. Maybe we'll do... Well, we got to do the tiger. We have to do the tiger. And if I do finish this week, if I do finish this guy this week, I will let you know. And we will move on to the next drawing. So I don't know what yet. Maybe I'll do a poll. Excuse me. The last time I did a poll, it was Joe. Let's save. Where's the guitar at? Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. On the same layer. Nice. Oops. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna move you there. Perfect. So now you there. And I'm just gonna glue you together. And we'll call you the guitar group. I think for an extreme, I won't do anything like this ambitious or this long. I feel like a lot of it is just me messing around and it's depriving you guys of like a finished piece. So maybe I will do all the major groundwork of the piece first and then um, I will outline and, and, and do color. Kind of like this process I'm doing. Art is a process. And if nobody else minds, I don't know. I'm just playing with the other edge of the game. On a rather nice Wednesday. I don't know if it's nice for anywhere. I don't know if it's nice for anybody else, but.
Okay. So I've been talking for a long time. I never notice how much I talk. Oop. Nope, that's a creepy one. Nope, 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 I'm not doing that. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Hold on, my settings. Actually, come on. No, somebody above me is moving shit around. Is Chrono Trigger available on the Switch? I need to find that out. That'll be a fun game to play. Once uh, Heidi's done with uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, I don't know if she's done with Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, been mostly doing Diablo. Uh, Diablo 3 uh, doing season 20 alright so there's some of me scan some of that over oh
I'm gonna worry about the neck color later because I, I just want to get all these filled. The pattern for this hat is like, okay, do a color change. I'm like, no. <laughs> this will be my color. What color is uh is the hat? Oh, I think we might be getting a cat in here, folks. Come in here. Where's your dad? Ooh, he's colorful. Yeah. I I really think I'm just gonna like get the texture brushes mm -hmm. and just like do just shading after shading after shading. That would be dope. Yeah, this will look dope. It'll look like a gouache painting. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking it'll be. If not, I like. I like the underpainting of like the pencils kind of look. So maybe I'll do something like that. What do you think, Boo? I like the gouache look like. You like it's the gouache look? Okay. Let's see if I can get Zoe on screen. Come here. Come here. <clears throat> okay, quick cat capture on stream, folks. Let me see if she'll stay still long enough. Okay, in three, two, one, he's a kitty. <laughs> it's my own tiger. Yeah. 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 Oh, so Stephanie loves the kitty. This my this my little oh, our little girl Jerry. She's a sweetheart. She's the biggest little sweetheart ever. Oh, and oh, 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 she's over it. She's over it, folks. Yeah, go be free. All right, come on, Jerry. Let's go to bed. <laughs> okay. I'm probably gonna go for another hour. That's fine, Boo. I'll check in on you. Love you. Love you, Boo. <laughs> Cat for mod. <laughs> Jerry says hi to you, Stephanie. The best thing about Jerry is she makes like these little chirp sounds. So like if you pet her, she'll be like, <gasps> like she'll she'll chirp. And stuff, and it's so adorable. But but when but uh when we first brought her home, she didn't do that as much as she does it now. She's also, uh, she loves to chew on plastic. Like. She did it this morning. Like, she chews the fuck out of our plastic shower curtain. And it, like, I don't know how Heidi hears it, but, like, she gets up like a rocket. And it's like, ugh, Jerry, don't do this now. Neither at this time nor at this specific moment. In our nation's future. We can't take you to the vet. So please refrain. From your horrible habit. But yes I do love my kitty. Jerry is the best. I love my cat. She's just so gosh darn cute. 
Yeah, I'll keep that there with a little water on it. Yeah, there's a little water. I'm not too worried about the pegs here. Uh, there's not going to be enough detail for the pegs, in my humble opinion. I don't think there, there can be, but what I want to do... Oh, God. Why does it do that? What I want to do with it is uh, try to make, like, digital into... Um, like, that it's, like, a... There's, like, a cool, like, gouache look to it, like, over top of it. And I think that would look cool for this, uh, for this, uh illustration but we're doing good here folks we, we hit the two hour mark we've done it we've hit the two hour mark So we're going to save. And then we're going to take that. Oh, come on. Oh, double come on. Stephanie, do you have, do you and uh, Chris have any uh, animals? I was going to say cats, but maybe you got a dog or a hamster or heaven forbid a tiger. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. What kind of dog uh, did you guys have? Oh, Rhodesia Ridgeback. Oh, man, my, my friend Noah loves Rhode uh, Ridgies. Aw, oh, sweetest 50 pound goofball in the world. That sounds like, that sounds like a little bit like my, uh, my uncle's old golden lab champ. He was the dopiest dog ever, but you loved him because he was just like such a mush. He was the cutest puppy, though. Did you get your dog when he was a puppy? Or was he a rescue? He sounds cute. What was your dog's name, by the way? Aw, Dina, she sounds cute. She sounds adorbs. Aw, rescue. A four-month-old rescue. Aw. I like, 
we rescued like Heidi and I rescued Jerry after um she lost her cat of uh, like like ten ten plus years. She like that was rough. Like I got to, well I was new to her cat. Like her cat was Sebastian. He was gorgeous. He was solid white, the most beautiful green eyes, and he was such a little, oh, such a little man. He was a good boy. He uh, we had to put him down because he had a cancerous growth in his nose in his nasal bridge, and uh, we just couldn't bear to see him in pain anymore. We had to do it. But uh, uh like uh, a while later, we got Jerry because uh, we were like we I, we couldn't deal with an empty house. And so we just decided to just, well, I decided because Heidi was still sad. I was like, okay, well, I got to take you to just see some kitties. We're not, we're not replacing Sebastian. I'm just going to take you around and we'll just look at them. Yeah, Sebastian was a good boy. I believe he's in my Instagram feed. Of him being a little goober. And he was a little goober. He didn't like it when you kissed him. He didn't. Oh, well, actually, no. He didn't like it when other dudes kissed him. Like I would give him like a kiss on the head, and he's like, no, and he would swat at me. I'm like, but I just want to love you. I just want to love you, Sebastian. And then he'll he'll come around, whenever he would do this cute thing. Whenever I would come home from work, I would put my bag down and sit on the couch. And he would slowly come up and nestle right in the chest. And he would give me head boops. You like the idea of adopting older animals? Yeah. That's a very noble club. I like that. Older animals are so, like, they're just so fun. They're just so full of love and have so much love to give. That's why we, we had to rescue Jerry. Like, So um, we were at um, Best Friends Animal Society. Well, sometimes we go into the Pet Smart. Aw, talk to the cats. Mr. Peabody. Aw, he sounds so... Oh, he sounds handsome. Heidi and I do that too. We, we, we talk to all the kitties. We, we ask how they're doing. Mr. Peabody is like the perfect name for a cat, by the way. So, like we, we say hi to all the cats. Uh, we also have a cat cafe relatively near us, like about like 45 minutes away. No, 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 not even, like 30 minutes. Uh... And then we sometimes go to that. We we hang out with some rescue kitties. We play with them. We give them some treats. We just give them all the love. Because they need it too. Rescue animals need all the loves too. Oh, really? What cat cafe? It's not Brooklyn Cat Cafe, is it? Jerry said, hey, Heidi. Oh, yeah, this is looking great. I have to say, I'm digging every bit of this. Oh, I hear myself in the background. <laughs> Uh, I think now I think we're moving on to the tiger. Actually, how are we doing with Joe here? What's what's Joe's group? What's doing? Joe's looking sweet. Actually, I have to. Miley Cyrus dropped in. I didn't know Miley Cyrus was a cat person. I wouldn't see her as like a cat person, you know.
Not the biggest Miley Cyrus fan. And speaking of Miley Cyrus, just look up the uh, uh, look up uh, Wrecking Ball and G major or Miley Cyrus and G major. Team Brooklyn Navy. Ah, oh. <laughs> look at that! You two just like complete each other's like sentence. Making friends left and right tonight. Doing good in the stream. Making art by night. All right. Oh, why is my opacity on? Ooh, I don't like that. Get that off. My favorite version of Wrecking Ball. I will have to check that out. <laughs> Actually, let me see if I could play a quick little uh, thing of um, Wrecking Ball in G Major. It'll be quick. Okay. This will be quick. Uh, it's just, okay, so the song has been auto-tuned all the way up to G Major. Hang on. Oh, so yeah, that's a bit scary. Now, uh, let me find uh the part where. There we go. And that's that. <laughs> I don't know if any of you heard that, but uh Well, I think Heidi's listening to it. Yeah, kind of old timey. Whoop! Hang on, we got a thing from uh uh boop a doop. Oh, we're good. We are doing good. Yes. Why is this not coming down? Oh, never mind. Oh, are we still going? Oh, no, yeah, we're still going. Sorry, I hit hide, and it had me panicked for a second. Uh, oh, whew. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, folks. There's no way I'm leaving you guys high and dry. On Joe. We've been going for two hours and 12 minutes. It's not bad. Not bad. I'm. I think I got. I got a bit more left in me. I got a bit more juice. And we are, are doing it. God dang it. Oh, Jerry's kneading. Oh, making biscuits. It's the cutest thing when kittens make biscuits.
Okay, then we got Joe. See, yeah, people are enjoying the whatever the hell this is. <laughs> okay. Now, as per my dad's request, Okay. All right. I found a show on, on good old Netflix called How to Fix a Drug Scandal. I'm going to dip out for a bit. <laughs> that sounds actually pretty cool. Oh, Stephanie, have you, have you seen this uh, Netflix show called 100 Humans? That's actually really fun. Oh, you don't have Netflix? Oh, oh. No, the agony. Okay, so 100 Humans is this kind of like, oh, it's, a, it's a science show where they do social experiments based on 100 human, like from the uh, perspective of 100 humans. And these are just genuine people, not actors, just real people conducting real science. And they're all in, like, and they all vary from like uh, age group to body type. And it's amazing. It's really fun. Okay, I'm going to fix these teeth a bit. By, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna erase it. I am going to. Give them new colors. Blue and orange and actually no orange. Is that yeah, you should watch it's really cool. If you have somebody's Netflix password, ask if you can borrow it and watch it. That's what I suggest. One show I was watching like a couple weeks back, I was, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's pretty cool. It's that Hunter's show on... Um, Am on uh, Amazon. No. No. Heidi sent me a video of Jerry kneading, and she's purring when she's doing it. It's cute as fuck, folks. Mm, off. Starting. Okay. Anxiety Carol. <laughs> Anxiety Carol sounds like a really bad, like old timey. Like like old Wild West outlaw. You watch out inside of Carol coming.
Let's speak to your manager. Anxiety Carol is my manager. <laughs> I would imagine Anxiety Carol is hell at the Trader Joe's. She gives Trader Joe so much hell. I'll fix those teeth later. I feel like Anxiety Carol. Ugh. I would hate to meet Anxiety Carol because there's probably, well, I know there's a bunch of Anxiety Carols around Brooklyn right now. You probably have an Anxiety Carol in your life right now. My suggestion with that is pay Carol no mind. Don't let Carol's anxiety be your anxiety. That's what I say. <laughs> oh god anxiety carol let's see I have some little two ends but these will get whited out anyway so whoa whoa no no that's not well I've learned to identify another personality with her so that makes you see it everywhere <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Let's get rid of that. When did you learn about this new uh, disorder? The anxiety Carol wants. Oh, yeah, no, you already posted that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, come on. Like, I feel like I see a lot of anxiety carols in New York. They are rampant in the subway, in my opinion. But I shouldn't make fun. Oh, last week someone was pulling some bullshit. I was like, okay, this is exactly this other person I know. Ah. I see. I see what you I see what you mean. So I started going through. Oh wow. Holy shit. Holy crap, so that's so you just made like a like a brand new discovery on your nose. That's pretty dope. Do you actually I have a quick little question. You don't have to answer, 
but do you find it hard that like do you find that like a lot of people are calling you in regards to um your anxieties about uh covid and like do you find a lot of people are like finding it hard to cope with uh cope with this because like it's unbelievable like this whole like the whole pandemic is so surreal to me oh is where okay oh okay Uh, okay, that's an extra hassle on top of things. Okay, thank you, Steph. Okay, well you you have a wonderful night, and thank you so much for answering my question, and thank you so much for hanging out. It's been awesome having you throughout the whole show. You've been a wonderful guest, wonderful to talk to, and I hope to have you on the next stream. Tell Chris I said hi, and thank you guys for enjoying the Gary Busey painting so much. And I promise I will finish Francois. <laughs> Bye. Oops. Okay, I already have that. Mm. I think I'm going to call it for here right now. It's late, and I think I've put in a lot of work. I'm actually just winding down. Mm -hmm.
All right. I think the gel exotics looking pretty darn great. And um, I th I'm going to try to finish them this week. And uh, if I do, I will show the finished product on the stream. If not, then we'll just keep working on them until he's done. Uh, the next stream will be Saturday at 2 or 5. And I'm just going to bring this back to me for a quick second. Hi, everybody. And I think what, how I should end the stream is with a cat, tar uh, cat tarot card. Just a little something to keep you, uh, just a little nice thought at the end of your, come on, at the end of the stream, something you could keep in mind, and I think I'm going to pick this one, which is the Five of Bowls, or Cups, the Five of Cups. And I'm going to use the uh... hmm. So in the hang on a second, in the Golden Thread Tarot app, this card, the the uh yeah, the Five of Cups signifies despair and sadness associated with loss. The three bowls here have nothing in them, but two are still upright, indicating that there's a chance to, to save what you've lost or to, um, like, not focus on all the bad things. Like, yes, sure, you've lost things along the way, but there are still good things in front of you that you can like that you that like that you still have so yeah like you can mourn what you lost or just like focus on all the good things you have and i guess that's my uh little end thing for this week maybe i'll do another one of these this will be fun i think it's fun and i love this deck uh thank you so much uh megan uh, I love your deck. I love uh, reading the cards and giving readings to people. And with that, folks, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. And uh, I hope you have a great night, a safe day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.